Okay. Okay, we have a little uh, mystery here. I've had this for a while. This is a. Um, <laughs> I don't know what this is. I know. I think what I know it's for. But if anybody else, any of you knitters out there, spinners, weavers, um, I need help with this one. So let me give you kind of a run by on this. I think this was, I would say, anywhere from like the 1860s to the 1920s. I don't know. It could even, you know, not as old as that. But I, I think just because of the things that are associated with it. So anyway, it's about 20 inches. The base is probably 20 inches by 6 to 7 inches, maybe 7. And it's really cool because all these wheels and the gears that you see are all handmade. They're pieces of wood and when you turn this handle down here they turn and because of the nature of the size of the wheels and everything um, there's four wheels um, because of the size of them this part down here this ceramic part turns slower than say this one on the top which you can see with every turn is turning much faster so then there's some other things. Okay, so there's this little porcelain ring there, but that really doesn't do anything as near as I can tell other than the spindle for this goes through it. Over here, whoop, hold on, there is this little wooden piece that lifts up, and you can see there is the spindle, whoops, the spool thing, <laughs> whatever this is called. With one of the wheels on it and that just and then that just pulls out of there so my one idea is that there are spools that would fit onto this kind of where that ridge is probably to this stop and then you would the yarn would end up coming through here or coming through uh, wrapping around the spool and maybe tying to this nail that goes through there um, I don't know I'm not sure what that does. I'm trying to tell by the wear marks. Oops. There you go. I'm trying to tell by the wear marks, which there isn't much. It was used, but it's in really good shape. So anyway, that goes back. Hold on. Let me lift this little thing up. And so this end of it just fits in the gears, and that little porcelain thing stops it. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but the wood dowel is in there. All right, so that's one feature of this. Then right here, there is a board, and there is a little slip of wood. That's wood there. Let me turn this this way. A little piece of wood nailed there. And underneath it, it's got an opening. And this little piece here, has an opening underneath it. Let's see if I can get that for you. Anyway, so as this is turning, I think. <laughs> oh, and then down here, this is weird. Underneath on the bottom piece, right here in the center, right underneath this, there is a nail, like it's been broken off, like something was being held there. And right there, in the sideboard over here, this board that was placed back in there is a groove where obviously something goes there. And I just discovered this. Down in the base of this, there is a notch that's been cut out. <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe this sat permanently on, this, on something and that was the nail went in there to hold it. Maybe it's a measuring device to say how far this goes. I don't know. I don't know what this is. <laughs> so, but one of my ideas is that it was... Um, yarn would come in from the other side um, that maybe this device held held a cone of yarn or something like that and it would come through here go, th go through here onto a spool or just wrapped around this but then I don't know how you take that off and have anything but a spool, a wooden spool would probably fit on that, a hollow wooden spool and then as you're turning this it winds a spool, I've tried it with yarn and it winds back and forth with the bigger in the middle and then, or it could be like a weaving shuttle somehow. And you're filling that up with yarn. I don't know. This is about 
well, about the distance from my thumb to my little finger there. So, I don't know. This is old porcelain here. Utilitarian porcelain. It's not, there's nothing fancy about it. Um, it's all mortise and tenon, which Rafe thinks is really cool. Like this little piece here, it's wooden here, it just a wooden bit just comes through there. That's mortise and tenon, and it's that way on both sides over here. And then if you turn the thing upside down, there's no markings on it. I mean, it's totally handmade by somebody. But you can see where the tenons came through the bottom. And uh, there's that little notch that's been hand whacked in there. And there's tenons over here from the other side. Anyway, but my favorite part, the reason I bought this, I got it on eBay actually from somebody that just called it um, a yarn winder. Um, but my favorite are these wooden, hand done wooden wheels. I just think they're so cool that somebody took the time that sat there and, and, and whacked those all out. They aren't machine done, done by hand. So anyway, what do you think? Any ideas? Okay, so this I wanted to show you too. This is the coolest thing. Does anybody know what this is? I do, so you don't have to worry about winning anything on this. First you knew what it was. Obviously, it was the top, or not the top, but close to the top, of a pine tree. And this part down here was whittled. This is very old, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Whoops, sorry, out of camera. This part was whittled so that it fit in the person's spinning wheel on the top. There was probably a hole in her spinning wheel and this rotated and or uh, stuck in there. And it's a distaff is what it is. So this they found one uh, you know a pine tree that had five branches that came out of it. And while it was still young and wet, um, went newly newly plucked, they took it up here and they used um, some wool. Sorry, I'm, I'm having a hard time doing this. I'm holding, I held it in front of the lens. Anyway, up at the top, they used some yarn, probably some hand spun yarn. And it's probably, uh, distaffs were used with linen and flax. So it's probably linen and flax yarn. And so the distaff was used when they were spinning linen or flax. And it would go around the outside of this. And that's what that is. So I got that on eBay too because it, it was just, it rocked. It was just such a cool old thing.